The last couple of months have seen Apple fans completely excited at the prospect of an Ultra version replacing the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Unfortunately, that does not seem to be happening, as the Cupertino firm appears to be pulling out to maximize profit. It's not all bad news, though, because Apple is working on an iPhone Ultra. So is Apple really canceling the iPhone Ultra 15? Let's check it out. iPhone 15 Ultra? Apple's intention to differentiate the Pro and the Pro Max fueled rumors that the corporation may launch a new high-end brand called the Ultra. Bloomberg's Mark Gurman predicted in September 2022 that Apple would debut the iPhone 15 Ultra in 2023 to replace the iPhone 15 Pro Max, but it now seems unlikely that this will ever happen. Really? Instead, the yeah. iPhone 15, iPhone 15 Plus, iPhone yeah. 15 Pro, and iPhone 15 Pro Max are anticipated. So what happens to the Ultra? Well, instead of rebranding the Pro Max as the Ultra, there's new information from German that Apple may introduce a third, even more, powerful iPhone to sit above both Pro versions. He says that the company has discussed it internally, and it would possibly be in time for the 2024 iPhone release. So why the sudden change of track? Stick with us, and you'll find out soon. Don't go anywhere. Ultra moniker significance. While the concept of an iPhone Ultra is novel, the term Ultra is nothing new. For example, Apple has previously used the Ultra moniker for its sporty high-end smartwatch. The Apple Watch Ultra, a high-performance wearable computer emphasizing sports. It outperforms previous Apple Watch models in every conceivable way, from screen size and battery life to water resistance and redesign. Similarly, Apple attached the name to its M1 processor. The M1 Ultra consists of two Max chips and 2.5 terabyte per second of bandwidth in the highest configuration of the Mac Studio. Furthermore, Samsung Electronics Co. has already adopted this strategy with its Ultra phone. This model provides more cameras, a bigger battery, a bigger screen, support for a pen, additional memory, and a different design. The point is that an iPhone Ultra would undoubtedly leave up to the Ultra name, which is synonymous with top-tier hardware with cutting-edge capabilities. We're still uncertain about how advanced the iPhone Ultra will be, but you can be assured that we'll keep you up to date with any new information. Hit the subscribe button, okay? And hit the notification button. Why the sudden change? For months, leakers believed that an iPhone Ultra would be nothing more than a rebranded Pro Max. So why the abrupt shift? According to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, this is simply a release strategy for Apple to deal with iPhone 14 sales, suggesting that the more expensive Pro models monopolize iPhone sales. The firm sees the best alternative is to triple up on iPhone sales premium options. This means there would almost certainly be a price raise, but users would need a compelling reason to upgrade because the iPhone Ultra would provide the best of the best. Speaking on the matter, Apple CEO Tim Cook stated at a press conference, I think people are willing to really go all out to get the best they can afford in this category, hinting at the possibility of a more premium and expensive model in the works. Stay tuned for details about the possible pricing increase of the Apple iPhone Ultra. So why not an iPhone 15 Ultra? To become an actual top-of-the-line model, the iPhone Ultra will most likely require more time to deliver further camera enhancements, a faster chip, and possibly an even larger display or a portless design. And 2024 lines up perfectly for its release. iPhone 16 Ultra With the possibility of a cancelled iPhone 15 Ultra, a new high-end iPhone 16 Ultra may be introduced in 2024, joining the iPhone 16, iPhone 16 Pro, and iPhone 16 Pro Max as a more expensive, feature-rich choice beyond those seen on the Pro models. So what do we actually know about the Ultra model? Mark Gurman of Bloomberg claims that the iPhone Ultra will have a larger screen, faster processor, and possibly no ports, not even for Lightning or USB-C. I mean, just fantastic! The iPhone Ultra would likely take design cues from the Apple Watch Ultra, the company's top-tier smartwatch, offering specialized capabilities that set it apart and justify a higher price tag, just like the Apple Watch Ultra. Tell us in the comments section if you would be willing to splurge on a higher-end model, 
even with an expensive price tag. Possible pricing and launch date. If Apple does release the iPhone 16 Ultra, it would be even more expensive than the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which now starts at $1,099. Probably an extra $100 or $200 increase, but it will likely be released in addition to the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max, rather than as a replacement for either. As we said earlier, we anticipate the high-end Ultra iPhone not to be introduced until 2024 which according to Apple's usual release timetable, would place it as part of the iPhone 16 lineup, likely in September of that year. As 2024 is the earliest this model will debut, there is a chance that it will be pushed back to the iPhone 17 series or even further. Although we know the iPhone 15 Ultra won't replace the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it's still unclear if Apple plans to produce a second Ultra variant with the iPhone 15 in 2023. Now let's talk about another device that's rumored to be scrapped to make room for the iPhone Ultra, the iPhone SE 4. But whether or not that occurs, the leaks are already here, and in our next video, we'll cover everything we know about them. If you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe below. Yeah.